Hello and welcome. This is our user interface for the counter app that we're going to build. I'm picking up right where we left off from the first video that showed us how to install App Inventor 2 and install the emulator. So what this is is actually your platform where you build the user interface. And this is all a drag and drop system. So let me just quick drag something over here and show you. You would just drag a button over and it's really that simple. So now if I wanted to delete that button, I could choose on the components section here, the button one, and just click delete, click OK. All right, so everything's drag and drop, and these are all menus that you click on for different things. And you'll go, you can just click through these. I suggest you do it on your own, and you can just read everything that's in there and see what it is. And this one's actually for Lego Mindstorms. You can actually do things with their robots, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we obviously won't be using that for this tutorial, but I still think it was worth mentioning. It's pretty cool. So what this here is, is supposed to be what your phone looks like um, if you were running the app. So currently it says screen one. The reason it says screen one is because that's what this screen is called in App Inventor. Now we're going to keep it called, we're going to keep it named screen one, screen one. And a matter of fact, when you click on screen one and click on rename, it doesn't even let you rename it. So you have to keep it screen one. But this here doesn't have to say screen one. The name of our app is counter. So we're going to actually make the title say counter. And we do that by going to the properties over here. We're under the screen one properties. I go to title and I hit, I typed in counter. Okay. So now that you'll see change this to counter. Now all we want to do is build an app that has one or two buttons that will make the, uh, a number go up or down. So in this case, we want two buttons that I'm going to do, and we're going to make the number go up and down. So to make the number, we're going to use a label. Now that label, I just want to start at zero. So I'll hit zero. And then I want to make it bigger than that. So we're going to make it, let's make it 25. So it's nice and big, and we're going to bold it. Okay. And then we're going to just pull two buttons down here. The first button says text for button one. And you'll also notice that it said it's named button one over here. Well, when we get into what's called the blocks editor, which you'll see in the next video, which is how you actually make the app work, it's going to be important to know what the buttons are named as far as what they do. So we're going to click here on the rename and we're going to rename this button button I would like to do a BTN for button underscore up and while we're at it we're going to name the second one and we're going to name that one BTN underscore down but let's go back to button up for a minute this is just plain and small and it says text for button one it doesn't say up or down so how do we change that well you're going to see we're on the button up and we're on the properties here and it says button up so we know we're on the right one and there's a height and a width option if you click on the height option and you hit fill parent it's going to fill the whole up and down so we don't want to do that we just want to go to the pixels option and we're going to make it 100 pixels click OK see how big that is and for width now we will do fill parent because we can have it go all the way across so that's just saying that's going to fill that whole section this would be considered the parent and that's filling the whole parent that the part that it consumes there from you know left to right I still want don't want it to say text for button one so I'm going to change that to click here to go up I'm going to make that bigger I'm going to make that size 18 and I'm going to bold it. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing for the height and the width for button 2. So for the height, we're going to do 100. And for the width, we're going to do fill parent. Click OK. And we're going to go in here, click here to go down. Now I'm using the word click. You can also use the word touch um, because it's going to be on a phone. Hit 18 and font bold. Okay. So something else you can do here with this is you can make this a different font if you like. 
So um, what you would actually do is you would go to default or font typeface here where it says default and you can change this to sans serif you can change it to just regular serif you can change it to mono space if you'd like okay I'm just keeping it as the default but I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so I'm gonna change it again to 35 and here it's a little bit bigger okay so this is our user interface for this app um, oh let me also go through just so that I can make sure uh, you've seen everything here you can also italic the font which you can also do on the buttons as well and you can align it left center or right so you can hit center but it's already it's not in anything where it can be you know left right or center we'll go over that later uh, basically what you would do for that is do a layout controller and what these do is they actually control you being able to put things next to each other uh, up and down or side to side or you can do a table so um, if I wanted to do this, I could pull a horizontal arrangement over. I could pull it into that horizontal arrangement. I can go here to horizontal arrangement, make the width, the fill parent, like that. Okay. And then I could go align and hit center. And now the number is right in the center. Okay. And I think we'll leave that. I kind of like it in the center now that it's there. So we'll leave that there. And in the next tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually make this app work. All right. I'll see you there.